Good afternoon, it's Holly Miller with Country Red Cross. And today, I almost forgot about time. Um, I am going to decoupage a, a dog food box because um, I recycled it and I am going to use it for storage for cards for our game for Gloomhaven. So I like to recycle. So, um, or upcycle, however you want to say it. But, um, so I am going to take this box, I'll show you in a second, and I'm going to transforming it from a, a dog food uh, container uh, to my um, storage. So hang on, I'll flip it around, you guys can see me. I'm sorry, Frank. Okay, thank you. Let me close this, this here before. What I did was I trimmed up the edges around this. So I picked this. And what I'm doing is I am going to um, add this. I'm going to paint it up and then I'm going to put a little decoupage. It's just cardboard. Nothing special. Just cardboard. And I guess the trick is not to paint it too much and make it too wet. But I want to cover this. Hey Doris, how are you? I'm just going to cover up this yellow because I don't want this show through. Because I have, I want to paint it industrial colors or put industrial decoupage tissue on top. So I am just going to, can you see what I'm doing? You can't see what I'm doing because I'm not the screen. There we go. There we go. So I am just, this is called Champness uh, with Fusion Mineral Paint and it's just regular paint. Um, and I'm just going to cover up this yellow because I am wanting to just put a little coat on top so the yellow doesn't show through. I don't know if you guys do this or not, but I hate throwing these little boxes away. They're quite nice for storage. And it works perfect for Gloomhaven pieces. I organized our cards in there and organized the, um, the little set of things that I've done up. I painted them. Probably going to do some terrain here shortly. I don't know if you guys know what Gloomhaven is. Kind of like D&D. Love me some Gloomhaven. But I'm cheap. Thrifty. Not cheap. Thrifty. There you go. That's a word. So I'm using Champness from Fusion Mineral Paint. I'm just going to cover up this yellow so it's not so bright underneath my um, decoupage tissue. So I'm going to turn it. Just going to do it to the top here. Oops, sorry. I stand up for this one. You guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm just put a light color coat on there. You guys probably can hear my fan going. With all these lights, it gets a little warm. This is just a regular um, cardboard box. That fin squishies come in, or fin softy comes in. He loves his squishies. So. Here we go. I'm gonna turn it. Probably need to try to take that sticker off. I'm gonna try to take this sticker off. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's see if it just covers up real good. It may just cover up nice. Hopefully. I to cover it all the way. I just don't want it to be so bright underneath there. Like I said, I'm using Champness.
Vi får prova att göra så här. Oops. Hang on. Let me try to get this back on. In one second. Hopefully you can still hear me. It kicked off. I don't know why it did that. Oh, wait. There, there it goes. Hello. Hello. Just, just hang with me, guys. If it does it again, I'm not sure what's going on with that. So I'm just going to take that one off. You can still see this one here. Okay, cool. I'm going to try to keep watching it. Sorry. I'm not sure why it does that. I'm covering up the Champness Fusion Mineral Paint. And I'm just trying to cover it up. The yellow doesn't show through too much. Right. You guys. My bubbles are barking. So what I'm going to use today is called Locomotive. I don't think I have a card in this one. It's called Locomotive. Let's see what I got here. What is it? Maybe it's not. Oh, the I'm sorry. That's not the one I thought it was. It's this one here. The machine. I think it's what it said. Manufacturer. I don't know what it says. I'll have to look up the thing. So that's what I'm going to use. It's got the industrial look, so that's what I want. So I'm going to measure it out here. I'm actually going to cut the scissors today. Double check to make sure that's what I want. Okay, cool. I will put the name of this in the um, in the comments when I'm done here. So I'm just cutting this with a pair of scissors. No big deal. Just cutting it with scissors. Make sure it's big enough. Cut all the way down. Because I like to fight with the paper for whatever reason. I've got to make it to size so I'm not fighting with the whole thing the whole day. Okay, so this is what? Here? You guys can see that? Maybe? There we go. Let's show. I'm just going to do this like I do it always. I'm just going to take it and start putting the tissue down. I know it's the medium down. This is just tough coat, nothing special, just tough coat by Fusion. It's the matte because I don't like the shiny one. So, got a hair on it. My brushes are losing their, their hair. So, um, what Gloomhaven is, is just a board game type RPG game, and it's kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but I like the industrial things for it, so that's what I'm hating. Because I have an industrial look to this. And it's okay if it wrinkles because it gives it texture. I'm trying to speed up because it's drying too fast. So. so if you guys see, it's darker paper, but I was afraid that yellow might show through. So it's kind of like just a little bit of blue. It kind of covers it so we don't have to worry about it showing through. That's what I wanted. I 
see how that is? Kind of industrial streaky. Okay, I got this. I'm gonna make sure I have it all down real good. I missed a little bit right there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of stuff in right there. Yep. Here we go. Okay, that's one side. So the other sides. I think I want to do the other side first. Yeah, I want to do the other side first. So I'm just going to cut it. Cut that fold right there. Okay, I'm using scissors today, guys. I'm going to put the um, cut side at the bottom. Put it at the top like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint this in. It's just top coat by Fusion or any kind of um, water-based clear coat you want to use. My choice is top coat. I don't want to over wet this because I don't want the um, cardboard to start wrinkling. That would not be good. Be careful not to do that. Just upcycling this little box here for storage. And this is just an old, well, not old, I just emptied it, but it's a dog food uh, container for moist dog food. It could be anything, it could be cat food, dog food. the ends trim this up here like a pack like a package like a um, present trim that up I'm gonna leave that so it wraps around a little bit and you can hear blue barking out there I don't know what she's after except there's something it's getting ready to rain Is raising cane out there. So I'm going to put a little on the bottom here.
to join me tonight. See you guys, I didn't put it on the bottom here and you can see that yellow showing through. See that? But it's the bottom, it ain't gonna hurt anything. I did not want that to show through on the sides. Okay, I'm going to try to fix these sides right here, and then I'm going to paint. That little, that little thing right there is flappy. It's a little bit more. Um, bit of medium down the side here. She's being fussy. Okay, so you guys can see I, I decoupage all this, I decoupage that. I, I didn't paint the whole thing on, or decoupage this. I'm going to try to paint this to match it. See if I can raise this up a little bit. Yeah, hold on. Let me pull it up. There we go. There we go. So I am going to try to match it a little bit. Okay. So I have some dark blue and some lighter blue. So I have different blues here. And I'm just going to paint a little bit of stuff on these. A little bit of. Just kind of layer it a little bit. I'm blend it in a little bit. Oops, sorry. Finger stick for that. Hey Royce, how are you? I'm trying to talk and trying to concentrate. It's really hard to do that. I am upcycling a box so I can use it for okay. So I can use it for storage. And I'm trying to paint, trying to match this on the top here. I won't match it perfect, but I'll match it close. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm not sure if this brush is going to work for me. The brush is yucky.
trying to add different colors and different layers on this. Trying to match it a little bit. And I'm just putting different colors on. So that one was a um, Seaside from Fusion. And this one here is a uh, Chester from Fusion. You guys can see that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Okay. So this is a um, Rose metallic rose um, gold and try to just brush it on try to I know this is copper but I'm going to use this just brush it on a little bit kind of blend it in a little bit let's see I'm, getting in here. I'm trying to dry brush it just to get a little accent there I don't want to get too wet get too wet this whole box is going to collapse you guys see it's rose copper or, or rose gold but it really doesn't show the rose gold I'm trying to match that a little bit kind of make it streaky kind of make it and I'll stipple the other side here in a second. A little bit of this in here. You guys see that? And I'm using fusion. All these colors are fusion. So this color here was called rose gold metallic. Um, Oh, great, Tina. I am so glad. I was, I just thought about, oops, I probably need to check on that. I hope you share what you do with them. Same thing with Doris. I love to see the projects. It's not exactly the same, but I'm not finished yet. This is watered down. And I'm just going to try to add some. I don't think that's going to work the way I thought. Get something a little thicker than that. So I wanted to add streaks down it. Maybe a little bit. Let's see. Oh, see, it's taking too much off. It's too wet. I'm just going to put that back in. Oh yes, I am a professional collector of supplies as well. And, and I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I love the support. Thank you guys. I need to find another brown because that one brown's too thin. Yeah. 
No, oh, I can get it out without getting all yucky everywhere. So I found hazelwood. I think this will be good. Just gonna put a little bit on the side. There we go. So let's try this hazelwood. Oh yeah, see it's a little bit darker. That's what I wanted. So it kind of matches that right there a little bit. And kind of dab a little one. And I'm going to take my sponge. I think it's like a little bit. So I love my sponge. I don't want to press too hard to break the box because the box is very, it's a box of cardboard. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of texture. I've been trying to do is when I come up with an idea, I put it in my little uh, art journal so I remember what supplies I was thinking of using when I buy them so I don't forget because that's what I intend to do is I forget what projects, what uh, crap, what things I'm going to use for what project. That's a bad thing. I do that all the time. But I try to write it down before I forget it. Sometimes easier said than done. Okay. That looks like a little bit like that, right? Just put a little squiggles in there. Put it in with my finger. It's not going to be exactly. I just want it to match a little. Accent the edge with a little bit of darker paint there so it kind of matches up. Kind of do that for my bird houses too. Okay. Let's see if I get hold of this. Then I got my beautiful and espresso. Let it in a little bit. Not perfect, but it's my stuff. Oh, look at that. We got a stowaway on this side. I'm going to drown that. So what I'm going to do this, that's the same thing. I'm just going to add some, a little bit of color, make a little bit of design. Um, I think this was this one, I think. the box because it's not so it's a little too flexible this is just a bunch of different little light colors just to blend it all in I want to add just a, I could have just added another piece because I had plenty. I just want to make it a little bit different. I 
and I'm um, painting in circles so it gives a little bit of different texture instead of straight back and forth. You guys can see that. Gives it a different little. Different look. Hello, CC's Goods. How are you? Sorry, I'm concentrating on the design more than talking. I'm being distracted. Say it and so. Just gonna put some streaks down this. And if this is wood, I would put a little water on it to streak it a little more, but it's cardboard and I don't want it to, to lose its shape. If it was wood, I would just put some water and it would run it down. Kind of cool. I did a birdhouse like that. Streaked it with different colors. Some different. Let's see. There's a little bit of this. And this is the rose gold again. With the um dry technique. I'm gonna offload the brush a little bit so it's not wet, wet, wet. I'm just gonna Swirl it around here. Highlight some of these little imperfections, which is, it makes it pretty. Got all of my hands. <laughs> Story of my life, right? Actually, I think this one here's the one that had my lights on it. There we go. Hello. Thought I had the lights on already. Glad you guys are joining me today for this little project. Just upcycling a box for storage. It's kind of cool. Like I said, I use it. I'm going to use it for my um, Bloom Haven supplies.
know. What do you guys think? I think it said he's needs a little more brown. So just some ideas that you can use. Um, you can use a tissue box. You can use a cat food box. You can use, goodness, just about anything. This was a dog food, moist dog food uh, container. I think I want to highlight some of these little um, things in here to, to mix the brown in so the lid on this so I don't spill it. careful with the cardboard not get it too wet or to start losing the integrity of the box. It'll start being mush. Anything else anywhere else, guys? You guys are quiet tonight. Still think this side's too pinky. using my fingers because I like to push it down into the grooves with the wax. you guys have any things that you want me to add I think that's about it so again I'll get the name for this paper and I'll put it in the um, comments for you guys and um, I use fusion um, mineral paint I use champness I use what was that one? hazelwood metallic rosewood I used uh, Chester and espresso brown wax, furniture wax, because I love it, and a little bit of seaside. So, you guys, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, there we go, let's go add a little bit, feels like it's not finished to me, I don't know about you guys, there we go. See those dark uh, colors coming back out with a later brush on the dry brush and the metallic. 
Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do. So that's the finished product is the storage box. So unless you guys have questions, that's all I got for tonight. And next week we'll see what else we can come up with. All right. Thanks for showing up and thanks for hanging with me on this storage box upcycle. Have a great night, guys. Thank you.